Well, there is a marriage of form and substance in the pro gym, uh, in writing and rhetoric, which is based on the pro gym. So before I get there, I would love to be able to just tell you a little bit about the history of the pro gym nasmata. Okay, so uh, the first time the pro gym nasmata is mentioned, it's in a book called um, The Rhetoric F for Alexander, and it's about fourth century BC. So this program has been around a long time. Uh, the only four copies we have of the pro Nasmata, it's basically a textbook, a writing textbook for Greco-Roman students. So if you're in the Greek world or you're speaking world or you're in the uh, Latin speaking world with Rome and you were growing up to be um, an orator, uh, somebody who could participate in the public sphere, you would be taking uh, a course in composition called the pro Nasmata. We have four textbooks available to us from four different authors. The most influential one is Aptonius, which is the one that's, that um, our writing and rhetoric is based off of. So this form of writing, this, this, pr this process of developing young writers, orders, rhetoricians, has been around for a very long time. And so we discard something that has, been, has worked for centuries at our peril. Uh, it's not that it didn't need to be updated. It had to be updated, for sure. Uh, because when I see uh, other pro gyms on the market, uh, I feel like they've, they've blown the dust off of them to some degree, but they're a, ex the exact same thing. They're not really, truly as relevant as they could be for modern students. So coming forward into uh, the uh, 16th, 17th century, that's when the pro gym was first discarded by uh, modern composition teachers. And what replaced it was um, the four modes of discourse, the, what we would call traditional writing now. Uh, and the four modes of discourse are you learn your narrative writing, which is story writing, you learn your expository writing, which is informational, uh, then you also learn to be descriptive, uh, and so you, you go into descriptions of all kind, descriptions of nature, descriptions of human beings, and then finally, it, or descriptions of my summer vacation. Um, finally, you would get into um, the uh, persuasive writing, uh, and um, persuasive writing usually came sort of last in that sequence because it's the most complicated. The thing that I love about the pro gym, which modern traditional writing has discarded, is that all four modes of discourse work together. They actually all belong together. They, they, you can't have a persuasive piece of writing without, uh, without going into a description, without telling a story, without uh, giving information. And so each one of these modes of discourse actually are in conversation with each other. And the problem we have now, I think, in modern traditional writing is that we've segmented those and said these are all separate functions of writing, and they're really not. They all, all belong together. So I was at a conference uh, and heard about the pro gym for the first time uh, probably 15, 16 years ago. And when I first heard about it, I heard about this incremental process where you're going, you're moving up from simple exercises to more difficult exercises. I, uh, and I just heard that uh, just in, in the way it was explained, that it was very open to every kind of writer. It wasn't just for students who had a natural writing ability. It was the kind of thing that even a kid who struggles with writing could latch on to. And so I was actually, uh, I had a fellow teacher there at this writing conference, and I was kicking him under the seat going, this is what we need to grab, hold it. So we cast our eyes about to see if there were any uh, pro gyms available for young students uh, starting in about the third grade, which is where we wanted to, uh, to begin our composition and writing program. And uh, we didn't find anything. Uh, in fact, 
again, everything we found seemed to be um, ancient history warmed over. And uh, we were very concerned that it wasn't going to be um, satisfying to the young people who were engaged in the writing process. It had to be something that was where their own creativity, their own individual expression could come out, but within the context of the forms that make them so eloquent. And so that was what was, was missing, and that's what I tried to fill in. Um, I, because I couldn't find it, I said, I'm going to sit down and, and start writing this myself.